Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the plugin Tablist. To install the plugin, simply go to the control panel, then go to plugins and type in Tablist uh, with no spaces into the search. Then install the one that has the yellow writing in the little picture here. Once you've clicked install, just restart your server and you're pretty much done. If for whatever reason that doesn't work, you can always go to the bucket page and download it there and install the plugin manually. The link of course will be in the description below. Now let's configure the plugin and see it in use. Go to File Manager Plugins, Tab List and then click config.yml. Within this config you can change everything. The staff permission option is the permission that staff require. If they have that permission, they will be able to see vanished players and vanish from the list themselves. Uh, of course, it only works if you have the vanished plugin installed. We don't have that plugin so we don't have to worry about that. But of course if you want to toggle it on and off, you can always do that. The change text option is when you type in slash list and game it will show you a list of online players. Of course the players with the staff permission will be able to see vanished players too and this can be toggled on or off. If you enable a custom prefix option you will be able to see the prefix of that player whether it being a moderator tag or just being a different color for the player name. The time option is how often the tab list is updated. Every second there are 20 ticks happening in game so in this case the tab list will be updated every second. Now, when you go down, here's where the magic happens. Here you can customize the header and the footer of the tab list. By default, it looks like this in a config and like this in game. You can see the little demonstration on the right here. It might look confusing, but it's not really. All it is is a bunch of color codes and variables. As you can see, there are three parts on the header and three parts on the footer, and they don't look too different from each other. Well, it's because the only difference is the color codes. This allows the tablet to be animated, and in this case, it will change color every 20 ticks, which means every Every second. You can add as many parts in the header and the footer section as you want, but you have to make sure you have the same amount on the header and the footer. For example, if I remove one of the parts in the header and the footer, it will remove one of the colors. When you make any changes to the config, make sure you click save to apply all the changes. You don't have to restart your server completely. All you have to do is just go into game and type in slash tl reload and reload the tablet's config. As you can see now, the gold and yellow colors are missing from the tablet. That's because we removed one of the sections in the footer and the header. And if you do the opposite and add a section to the header and the footer and then change the color codes, it will add another color to the animation cycle. It doesn't have to be just the color codes, you can change whatever you want. Just have a play with it and see for yourself. I've messed around a bit and created a very simple tab list here. I've made it so that this pattern changes colors. In the header I've made it so that the server.pro part changes colors and I'm also showing the amount of online players by using these variables. You can find out more variables if you go to the bucket page then go to pages and click variables here on the side. Here you can see all the variables you can use but if you want to get more uh, there is a plugin for that. It's called placeholder API and there's actually a link in the config file so you can use that. Apart from that there's not much else so have a play with it and yeah hope this tutorial helps. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.